Hey up everyone and welcome back to the North for another episode of the Iron Oath in its 1.0 release as the Northern Missionaries. So last time the Black Skull finally started approaching us and we have started taking on contracts which relate to dealing with them. I think there's going to be a few more contracts to deal with them today. I have taken a few contracts whilst we've been in Jawhurst because there was quite a few. We did have the one from the end of the last episode where we got to deal with a four score contract in like 90 days. I think I might see if I can go and just deal with the Black Skull camp instead just in case if it does work out i'm gonna try and get like caitlin and hildegard up to level 12 so if we're gonna do it at least we're fully leveled up and prepared for it but i've only got to like what 16 50 maybe so it might end up timing out i'm gonna have to see how it goes i have taken a few contracts here there is one that's going to railheim how long does that take 13 days and there is also something to go eradicate the void spawn that shouldn't take very long and it's only a two score mission so i think what i'll do is i'll go boop i'll go boop go boop and then go boop and then we'll see what everyone's like when we get back up here and whether i'm going to take this or not but uh four skulls ain't messing it ain't messing at all with it being a two skull one as well i've brought in like the lower level characters i brought in like both of our valkyries because i need to level them up as quick as possible but generally speaking everyone else should be fine it is only a short dungeon so i can camp but not massively and i feel like i might as well just utilize um camping for doubling our experience in battle so let me get up here i do like the little how this looks that's a trap so great start what's that now we do actually have some theologian people now did i make any of you guys theologian uh no i didn't so there's two people who are but the job is getting harder and harder to split and how seen they have put an update into the test branch which is going to be changing how job assignment is going to work in the future it's not live yet it's only in the public test branch so it's not active on my game um but it will make things a little bit different in terms of assigning jobs let me quickly open that i'll take the health potion let me just quickly grab that as well i will take that key and i will go and open that box don't mind if i do Thank you very much. What's that? Cloth vest is whatever. Scroll of mending. Increased mending by six, though, is pretty decent, to say the least. Uh, what do I... Oh, it's on the weapon. So in terms of mending, I mean, it's probably going to be both of our Valkyries, right? Yeah, what's yours looking like? Wing spear. You know what? Let's just, let's just do that. Let's give her a bit more mending. I know he's supposed to be more of a damage dealer, but it's always good to, uh, you know, help out the group at the end of the day. I assume this is going to be a fight here, so there's going to be one more fight just dicking around somewhere. Let me just go quickly find it, I guess. Is that a trap? No, that's the fight. Okay, so that's the fight and that's the fight. If I camp here, let me quickly see if this works. So, this is kind of weird to be camping right now, but it'll make sense. So, knowledge... Earn double XP for the rest of the mission. Done. I can't do anything else. It's only a 5% chance to get rumbled. I better not get rumbled on 5%, let me tell you. Are you serious? You jolt awake. Your rest disturbed by a far-off noise. You can't be certain it wasn't simply part of a dream. You sit upright and glance at the campfire. Now a little more than embers. Your companion is sound asleep around it. Well, you better go investigate the noise just in case we're about to get jumped at 5%. You stumble away from the campfire to investigate the noise, soon spotting a group of enemies encroaching on your position. Unsure if you've been seen or not, you scramble back to your companions, raising the alarm. So, that's the first time that's happened. We've never actually been rumbled. Have we been ambushed? Probably not, because we investigated. So, on the plus side, at least... I don't know if I'm going to get getting double experience for this fight, though. I'd like to think that I am, but I'm probably not. Let's go from that. Let's, let's, do, let's do this. Now, you could biff them both. Sure. That ain't a bad start, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Give her a good smash. Nice one. And then if I can come here. Have you got skewer? You do. Very good. Very good, Hildegard. You're going to be way too far away anyway, so do not worry about that one. Now, if I can just quickly swap around. Not really much of an ambush, is it? Nah, mate. This should actually be pretty... Pretty clean. You are getting one single friend. Does it really count? Really? And vicious mockery. There you go. You're not even close, mate. Like, uh, just wait. You could probably get in, right? Yes, you can. Well, chat shit get banged, apparently. And we did indeed just chat shit. We're going to get banged if we're not careful. So, let's get moving. What is the re... It's only a single reinforcement. Oh, it's a risen ghoul. Uh, oh, no. 
Whatever shall I do? You're not going to die, are you? You're on eight health. Are you having a laugh? No oh, god damn it. I need crit. All right, fair enough. This ambush has suddenly become successful. Apparently. Bloody hell. All it takes is one hit and it all goes to... But all, all it takes is one miss and it all goes to shit, technically. There we go. You're not the only one who can crit. Anyway. Did I get double XP for that? I mean, it looks like probably not. 96 is not a lot. So I imagine that's probably not the case. Did I at least get the update so it can... Would it say there? I feel like it would say there if that was the case. Ah, <sighs> fine. Well, I've accidentally made more work for us, apparently. Uh, and we've ambushed them. Great. So let's actually make do with that pretty quickly, if we can pretty please. Let's just go, 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 go. Um, you could probably actually just fist the fury in, one of them into oblivion, maybe? Man, even with, like, what, 15% damage or whatever it is? Still, still nada. Still nada. Fair enough. Well, let me just go smack him. Give him a good old smack. If not, why not? You're skewer, so if I stand here... Are you... No, you're not technically... Hmm. That's the wrong thing of what I'm thinking of. Never mind. Get turned. There we go. That's decent enough. You're the sweeping spear, are we not? And you can do it to three people now, right? So if I can sweep them all, like the board. Nice. And then just quickly fry her. Good job, Alistair. Let's see what you're doing. That's manageable. You're not really going anywhere. You're going to charge something. You're stunned. I could technically biff them both, but I will actually accidentally hit one of our guys, so I will not do that. Unless I do it this way. Oh, no, I, I can't. I'd still, I'd still hit them. Fair enough. There we go. So you're about to go, right? Can I kill it? Right. No, ab no abilities for you. I said so. Oh, you missed. Very unfortunate. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you missed as well. This is going perfectly. In which I mean, it's not. That's better. You're going to get a pissy smack. I say pissy smack, 100. 100 is 100, man. It's not a small amount, and we don't really have any healers. Well, not really, anyway. We've got Rainfall, I guess, so I will utilize that. I might as well just use it now, to be honest, on yourself. There you go. Get some health back. It's not a lot, but it's honest work. Belt him. There we go. I mean, we have Santana, to be fair, so he is a healer. I feel like we're not getting double XP. I feel like get, by getting ambushed, it hasn't give us, given us it, which is really annoying. 5%. 5 bloody percent. Oh, thanks. What have you... Trap there. Knowledge there. I'll definitely go back there. What's this? Not a trap, I hope. Will of Adasil. The bandits in the mountains near wrought perils as the night grew long, and searched with bow and purpose clear, did hunt the black blackguards for their wrong. A thief and sparked rebellion fierce, spurred on by faithless godless dogs, searched follow following spear like hellions pierced, and quenched the villains' dialogues. Cert led a band both bold and true, to champion the common soul, and when the dead rose, just those few stood in their way and paid the toll. His martial prowess grew refined, and bounties now were what he sought. How many men did his hands grind to bring the karma he had wrought? With sacks of gold and burnished steel, did Cert return to home that day, to hear the funeral bell peal, and learn his line had passed away. Cert cast away his wealth and land, and wept upon the hard clay roads. With heavy heart and shaking hand, he locked himself in his abode. Well, that's only half of the story. I'm sure we'll hear the rest of the story very soon. Go on, what's the negative modifier? Give it to me straight, Doctor. Oh, um, okay, fine. That could be much worse. Well, I might as well do some healing whilst I'm here. So let me just quickly do that. You're basically back. You're back to full. You're back to full. Not a problem. And then we'll go quickly have a gander around. They certainly made themselves at home, haven't they? Aye, just don't touch anything. You're going to use through the dim light corridor, stepping cold. Stopping cold as your torchlight reveals the outline of a great demon before you. Its back turns as it stalks the halls. It suddenly rears its head. A twisted hunger in its eyes as it calls out, alerting even more to your presence. Let's rock and roll, shall we? 
How bad could it be? For a second, I thought they hadn't spawned, and I was like, ah, this is nice. No, no, they're here. They are definitely here. I could probably take flight and go smack them and do some other kooky stuff, maybe. Kooky stuff, you know. The stuff we like. There goes one. You could probably go and stun that guy, right? I've got a feeling you can. Yeah, there you go. He's not immune. And now if you take flight, go and lock down the Dread Knight, if you could see who play. And then if you taunt that one, increase your defense, that means the Anguish is only going to attack your Sen. And now can I conduit the big lad himself? I can't currently, but I can at least kill the Flayer. She's had worse. Right, he's getting a Bezzy, mate. You just got your face explode. Let's walk around here. Let's vicious mockery him into dust. Here comes the crit. Nice one hill the guards. Eh, taking some. Don't worry. Don't you worry. You've got this. Hmm. Maybe less so in that regard. Let me get... Let me get rain falling. That way at least you've got a buffer on that end at the end of the day. Nice, nice, nice. Now, clock it. And now, if we just... It should be dead. Eh, it's almost dead. That's not ideal. You want to just keep skewering it into the... <laughs> just keep smacking it into a wall. Until it kneel... Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Um, yo, this is only supposed to be a regular... Like, level 2 contract, bro. Chill out. What are you... What are you playing at? Okay, all of a sudden, this has become an issue. Cla a classic move by the game. Are you stunnable? I believe you are. Let's do just that, then. All you know, just kill it with a tenacious D-Way. That's also fine. I guess you can't take flight, so I guess just keep... Just keep... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Cool story, bro. Uh, Caitlyn says goodbye. Nice. She does love killing demons after all. That's a great pose, by the way. Very good. Okay, a bit, a bit touch and go on that last fight, but it wasn't exactly... It still wasn't hard. It was just that there was a lot more damage getting hit than I expected. Uh, I think Alistair, Santana, and Kaftan leveled up, which was very nice, but Caitlyn and Hildegard barely touched the sides, unfortunately. Captain steps beside you, his garment spotted with dark demon blood. Damned abominations. I think that may be the last of them. I see we head back and claim our reward from House Jorston. No, no, just a while longer. We've got stuff to have a look at. And also, I'd like to level up. So, Alistair's now level 9. Very good. Let's get your health up to... I didn't really move as much as I'd like. The crit's up as well. I'll put your speed up, because your speed is terrible. And your accuracy is not much better. Let's get rainfall up to increase range. That'll be pretty decent. Captain, welcome to level 8 and 454 health. I'll put your power up as well. That's all right. And then I'll start working on your evasion. Fist of Fury, defenseless targets, protect... Ooh. Hmm. Sure. That'll do. And then Santana. Let's put your speed up to 9.5. You're mending up to probably like 50. That's good. And your health up to like 450. And then I'll put your power in a little bit. Uh, Smashing Tune is great. Our Grievous wins for three rounds. That means that they can't heal after getting smacked. Done. Okay, let's get back around here and let's see what we can find, eh? So in classic moves, we uh, we failed an 85% check against the traps, so we did take some injuries because RNG loves us this week. Um, that's a hint to the next episode of Battle Bros. <laughs> or, or maybe it was the last episode now, actually, I'm thinking about it, because this is probably like Tuesday's episode. Go on, what's it? Alaric leans over to pick it up and briefly flips through the pages. Looks like some notes from expert hunters with some sage advice on how to follow a target's tracks. An important skill, no doubt. You unlocked a new job, Tracker. I know who's getting that one, and his name is Mad Jack. Okay, I think we've done everything that we can here. Let's just get out of here. That was a pretty straightforward one, other than some, well, wacky pain from, like, falling into a trap. And then some damage a little bit from the boss fight. Did you just level up? I think you did just get over the line. Hildegard's a little bit far behind, though. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Yeah, Caitlyn just leveled up. Like, just. Let's get your mending up. Let's get your health up. And then we'll start working on your power. Just. Just. Sweeping Spear, you've already got... No, I can put one more upgrade. Mark Duration, or... You know what? I'm going to give it an extra charge. Let's give it an extra charge. There we go. 
Um, I would say that is a good thing. I'm just going to sell that because it's common anyway. Common muck. I'm going to go have a quick gander to see what it's like over there. Up ahead, one of your outriders is returning to the caravan with some haste. They stop at the front of the column and relay something to Alaric, the hand pointing down the road. With a firming nod, Alaric turns around and rides in your direction. Our monk asks Scout report a group of black skulls up ahead. We could try around and slow us down, but what are your orders? I say we'll take them head on, boss, says Lotar. Is it going to be like five skulls and we're going to get murked? Go on, let's see what they're like. Two skulls. All right. We have got a few injuries. That's the only thing. We need to go put Catherine and Santana in the old uh, infirmary. As much as I'd like to put Hildegard in this next fight, she is bloody knackered. So you know what, let's go. But, but well, actually, to be fair, these are the only ones who are feeling okay. So, uh, gentlemen and Reyna, destroy them all. I feel like this whole Black Skull people appearing on the road is going to become a regular thing. And I imagine us attacking them is only going to help us um, destroy their ranks more, I would imagine. I'd have to assume. Let's see if we can kill this Grenadier, because he will be a pain in my ass if I don't. This guy is also going to be a big old issue. Let's kind of do it like that, I, I guess. This this should be this should be okay. It's, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Remember, we can just use all our abilities anyway. I mean, my jack's going to crit. What do you want? Like, blow yourself up, will you? That's dumb. Can I blind the rit ritualist? Yes, I can. Decent enough. Can you deal with Mr. Black Skull Knight by burning him alive? Oh yeah, that does knock back now. I need to remember that. How much can you move? And can you hit him from where he is? Wait. You're going to move quite close. Can you put him on ice? Stick around. That's not quite. That's like a Spider-Man pun. It's not quite right. You know? Eh, kind of, kind of close. Pull off. Yeah, cool off kind of works. But it's not, it doesn't, it's not quite right. It's not quite there, you know? Oh, mates, is it? That's cute. Well, let me just get rid of these mates first and foremost, shall I? Oh, crits, just critting every day. Like, I'm not even asking for him to do it. Go for it, buddy. Just go for it. Now, let's see. Keep smacking it. Low tower will be here in a second, no doubt. Let's just get this guy dealt with. I think he will be soon. See you later. You're not going to be close enough, so that's fine. You're dead next turn. Come back a little bit. You're technically not. It would have been better if you were further away from something. What are you... Oh. You didn't do anything. Hmm. Weird way to... Oh, you're on three health. Free health. Are you kidding me? Come on, Reth. Let's see how far you can't move. You're going to move. Ah, that's bad. You're probably going to hit Albert. Oh, he's getting frostbite. I forgot about that new ability. That's a bomb. Just to confirm that, people. That's a bomb. Right, the Ritualist is gone. That Black Skull Knight is also gone. We're slowly working our way through. Maybe get away from the explosion? I would I would recommend. Um, buddy pal. Right, at least he's slowing down a bit. This guy is hot on our tails. Oh my god, he can... He can move. Jesus. Hmm. 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 Not sure how I feel about this. It's kind of stunning, but I guess not. I guess that's fine. Can I not just like just just chill, bro? Chill, bro. He's gonna die from frostbite. I'd be fine if that happened. Okay, you you need to stop doing that. You need to stop hurting my boy. You asshole. This is a slight issue in itself. Let me see. Can you get... I actually hit it from where you are. Yeah, I mean, kinda. How much health has he got? Is he gonna burn to death? No. Once again, another another four skull contract where it's for some... Four skull. Two skull. Four level four contract where it's harder than it feels like it should be. Oh, well, whatever. 
It is warlord, warlord, warlord difficulty after all. Can you make him explode? Can you make the ice explode and just kill him forever? See ya, bro. Mint. Feared across the realm. Kill 20 bosses. Don't mind if I do, game. Thank you for the achievement. They're all secret achievements as well, so I don't know what the achievements are. Nobody leveled up. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh, Bone Wand as well. Not bad, but I thought I already think we've got better stuff. With a battle one, your troops lay out a boisterous cheer and fan out to collect what they can from the bodies. Not much in the way of loot, but Torin will no doubt feel this loss. One of these men was a high-ranking captain, it seems. Well, every little bit counts. All right, Tesco. But we can't let up. Rock and roll. I don't think anybody leveled up, but I think Trevor's pretty close. And that wasn't even this group, was it? Okay, I think I'm going to go to Hasten Hold because we need to recover a smidge. And then I'll head back to here. I've got a feeling this might time out. It might time out. We'll see. Okay, I'm in Hasten Hold. People are in the mark. Uh, people are in the marketplace. People are in the infirmary and recovering right now. Some of you eagle eye people will notice that we're now on 11 out of 15 people. So I finally found our second... Ice binder. It's kind of funny because I was like, oh, I can't find ice binders anywhere. And then I discussed with the guy and he was like, oh, just make me a guardian instead. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll find a guardian instead. As soon as I started looking, the ice binder appears. It's it's the game is just playing as at this point. So I took by them being called Octavia that this, it would be like a, a female version of an ice binder. So I've kind of gone with that, but let me know otherwise. So this is Octavia Nightshade. I've gone to get the hair as pale and as white as possible and also blue eyes and go with that. So you're going to be going more with like a support class. So I'm probably going to stick with supporting stuff like healing and generally stopping the enemy in their steps so they can't get closer to our friends as it were. But let me know if it needs any changes. I've always found it really weird that even though you can like update the pronouns and stuff and like put all the like character portraits, like the sprites are still like specifically gendered by class. I, I find that very strange. I mean, I, I, I know it's probably down to, like, time constraints and, like, availability to make, like, a, a different sprite, as it were, per one. Um, but yeah, it just, it just strikes me a little bit of odd, you know? Anyway, it's it's fine. Um, this is Octavia. Obviously, if there's any changes that need to be done, just let me know. I'm going to wait for people to recover here a bit, but I think we're as good as we can be. Let me just quickly go to the inn and buy a round. Still pretty cheap, generally speaking. Does anyone need to rest? For one day. I can live with resting for one day. Now, I don't know if by destroying this camp, it sort of, like, invalidates this anyway. Although, it's expecting us to do it. So, I'm not quite sure, you know? Let me have a quick look at the contract to go and do it. 75 days to go. Okay, I've got 75 days to try and power level. Who am I power leveling? I guess I have a Hildegard or Mad Jack. One or the other, really. It probably would benefit us to do Mad Jack, just so then we've got a bit of a... A variation of characters, but either, either or. Let me have a quick look at this Black Skull camp and see if it's um, going to be rough or not. Under cover of darkness, you approach the Black Skull camp. Right where your scouts said it would be, you inch closer, hiding in some tall grass as the Black Skulls within remain oblivious to your presence. Drinking and laughing as stories are swapped around a campfire. Alaric crouches low beside you. This feels familiar, but from the other side. We're in position, our monks, shall we? Charge. Your troops come rushing out the tall grass and the Black Skulls turn at the sound, finally noticing you. What's that? We're under attack. Yes. Yes, you are under attack. Okay, so it's three skulls, so it should be a little bit more high octane. It's kind of weird. It's all reflective of, like, the tutorial prologue thing where we got attacked this way. But, um, they asked for this. All right, let's rumble them. How many of them are there? And surely they're not going to get reinf... I find that very bizarre. I was about to say surely they're not going to get reinforcements because they're camping and we've technically ambushed them in camp. So them getting reinforcements doesn't really fit if you get me it's very it's very strange it's very strange but that's just like my opinion man anyway let me see what's going on here they seem to be a lot more ready than i was expecting i'll say that so big dog over there big dog over there you're too far to really achieve anything from what i could see let me try and reorientate people down here so we can just get like started you know okay cool you're going to move in first and foremost, but I can probably just basically almost wipe you off the boards, maybe? God, these dogs are stacked. Why have a dog stacked, bro? That's so weird. Can you reach there? Not really, no. So just, just wait for the time being. Let's see what we do. Can I get... Ooh, nice toasty fire. Very nice. Uh, you guys just kind of go there and then safeguard. 
Oh, there's two bounty hunters. Or black skull hunters. Interesting. I wasn't expecting two of them. Clearly we're not close enough to do anything else though, right? I don't think so. I see an arc lightning thing here. The fact that they're getting three reinforcements is wild, let me tell you. It's a, yeah, it's a little crazy. It's a little strange. You wanna just, right. Take care of that one. It's gone now. It never has to darken our door again. Great stuff. You're unfortunately stuck, but you can at least Guardian Angel. I feel like I start, should start to be getting a little bit concerned for this. I'm not... Anyway, I'm not gonna... <laughs> oh, it didn't move. I was gonna say something else, but... And that was a misclick. We're supposed to be the ones ambushing you guys, not the other way around. But no, that's fine. This is this is completely fine and makes absolute sense. Why wouldn't this make absolute sense? Jesus Christ. Can you tell that I think this is dumb? I think you can tell that I think this is dumb. I'm sorry, buddy, but I, th I think I'm going to have to hurt you to save you. No, I, I might not have to. Okay. Can you kill this one outright? Nobody's gonna melt, so I guess that's fine. You're gonna be... You're stuck as you are, aren't you? Unfortunately so. You could technically... You know what? Cyclone away. Fine. That's fine. I need to keep you healing. If anything, that's probably all I'm gonna do with yourself for now. Just heal. I don't think anyone else needs healing, but... Go for it. This this could go like this might actually be really bad, you know. Not to put a, a finer point on it, but Goodbye. Right, that's gone. Can you fly... Right, fly that way. Go to go deal with that guy, please. Amazing block. I did give her a better shield, to be fair. You pushed her into the fire, and that's extremely rude. Unacceptable. Now, have you got to the point where Arc Lightning... Right, you don't have the Arc Lightning ability where you can't... Where it doesn't hurt other people. But you can do this. And you will hit two of them, so that's okay. I guess that's manageable. Oh, beautiful. I re I actually really needed that. Right, go and go lock him down. At least he's not going anywhere. Uh, hi. How's it How's it going, buddy? That's a terrible idea. I won't I won't do that. I wish it would show me where like it would move him to, you know. Okay, at least he's stunned. And you're gonna crit while you're in... Ah, shut up, game. Shut up, game. Make an absolute mockery of... Ah, oh, you ran through the fire. Of course you did. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to... Are you actually immune to fire now? Have they actually, have they actually updated that to make, to make you immune to fire? I kind of hope so. Right, hang on. Heat wave. Nice. Fine. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. So I, I'm going to take care of him. See you later. Right, you're next, buddy boy. Oh, you think you're cute? I'm going to bounce you off this tent and hopefully into oblivion. Very close. Very close. You're stunned. Get burnt and turn. You still stunned? No, you're not. At least you didn't crit that time. And you're gone. Into the afterlife. Damn you, spongy sh- Oh, it's like a- Right. Don't worry about it. 
Okay, pulled it back from the jaws of, well, defeat in some cases. Wow, 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 game. Back off, will ya? Seriously, now. You gonna burn, or are you gonna not quite burn? Probably not quite burn. In that case, heal yourself. And then heal Lotar, please. It's only a small heal for Lotar, but it's fine. I'm assuming if you arc lightning those guys, they're not gonna... Yeah, just, you know what? Just get, like... Here's fine. Just conduit that one into oblivion, I guess. Not oblivion is in, like, an oblivion gate, although that would be pretty cool. That takes me back. Oh, that's a whiff. Don't worry about it. That's a whiff. Okay, maybe start to worry about it. Saying that, wait for it. There goes the dynamite. Bruh. Also, what? You didn't level up after that? Bruh. That was a bit much for to say that we were supposed to ambush them. <laughs> Okay, fine. You look about the camp for chaos of battle causing a small fire to take hold, threatening to burn everything down. Your troops scramble to recover what they can. We managed to retrieve this, our monk. Should get going, though. This fire will soon be like a beacon in the night. We don't want to attract any unwanted guests. Iron and an adventurer's sword. Very cool. Let me see... Oh, it's just a common... I mean, I'll sell it. Okay, so I assume they were the group that were going to do this, and I don't really know how much more I need to be, like, doing. It says sabotage Black Skull operations across Kalem. It doesn't really say how much more I need to do. It just says the more losses and the more desperate and vulnerable they'll become. It's not really saying anything outside of that. Well, let me go back to Jawhurst. Let's get recovered. And then I'll see how much time we've got to sort of... Ah, Alistair's back. That's good. I'm glad to see him back. An urgent letter from Vaughn, our monk. Indeed. Dear friends, I've recently come across the location of one of the primary Black Skull storehouses. It's likely guarded and shouldn't pose much trouble for you. I know you've already had some successes, but it'll be all pale in comparison to this task. I look forward to seeing Torin for a fit once he hears the news. Good luck. Octavia, finally a mission that carries some real weight. Indeed, Barnes' position is certainly paying off. I suppose we shouldn't waste any time, but AR monk. Let's look here at this storehouse. Okay, uh, let's drop these guys off. Give them our best. See you later. That's another renown point for us. Let's have a quick deke. Uh, new recruits royalty uh, isn't bad. I think we're basically filling this up. Training's done. Let's go like full full refund on unused provisions. That'd be good. So at least we're not really losing money. I'll get rid of that very quickly. Don't need to worry about that too much. We don't need to go here as far as I'm aware. Let me just quickly check the inn over here. 110? Fine. Yeah, 59 days. No one that I need to recruit right now because I don't think there's anybody on the list per se. And we don't need to rest. That's actually pretty handy. Is anyone leveled up? Not really. Okay. Um, nothing really in the marketplace, but I will sell all this stuff. That's low, so I won't sell that. Uh, 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 get rid of that. Repair everything. Got 12 grand. What a, what a time to be alive, eh? If I go leave the sea, where's this storehouse? Oh, right. It's it's at Turnhold. And that is a four school one as well. So we do need to be at... What's happened here? House Telerium won the battle and retained their claim over the city of Turnhold. Fair enough. So that's also a four skull one. Maybe I had to sack this. I don't think anything bad happens if I do sack it. At all, really. And I don't think uh, we're quite ready for it just yet. Recommended level 12. 13, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, I would be comfortable having five level 12s. Because I know what this game is like. And uh, it'll really pull the rug from under us. To say that we're still sometimes struggling with like three skull contracts. Which are level 8 plus, And we're taking in level 12 people. So I think, you know what? Sack this. Let's go here. I don't trust you, game. I'm sorry, I just don't. Oh, wow. Halberd, Masterwork, Polearm. How many people use Polearms? One, two, three people use Polearms. Uh, what's that one? Add 10% to the flanking damage bonus. There's nothing in that one. And then there's increased mending by six. Whew, 102. What's that in terms of accuracy? 16%. Oh, yeah. You know what? No brainer. With this much money we've got, absolutely no brainer. Uh, Lotar, buddy. What have you got on yours? I kind of like that. So, you know what? I'm going to give it two. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't think Caitlyn's has got... No, Caitlyn's has got many plus six. So, let's give it to Hildegard. Because the accuracy and the crit chance is... Wow, the crit chance. 27. It's almost a one in three chance. That's amazing. And then I can just go back to the marketplace and sell this one. We haven't really lost that much money in the grand scheme of things. Maybe only 400 coin. 
Let's see what's here very quickly. Hmm, I'm seeing that being a repeated thing now. Ah, people have gone missing, aren't they? Dark deeds. I feel like this is a unique contract. I've got a sneaking suspicion. Let me have a look. When you walk into his office, the captain of the guard is leaning back in his chair, boots propped on a pristinely empty desk. He's staring into the distance. It takes a moment to register your presence. Yes, right, you're here for the job, but this is about a missing citizen who may have been murdered, and they're not the first to vanish recently. Think you're up for a little investigation? Who are we looking for? Name's Jorgen. He's, a uh, a Cooper, I think. Bristly black beard, wears a dull blue tunic. His wife asks for our help, as if we don't have enough to do. What do you know so far? Surprisingly, one of my men discovered something. The organ fellow is an amateur miner. When he's not working, he likes to do exploring on his own, looking for gold. Heh. <laughs> anyway, my corporal found some blood in a nearby cave. I think it might be his. The widow, uh, his wife, was put up a reward. I imagine that's why you're here. Okay, maybe it's not a unique contract. All right, we'll look into it. Where can I find the cave? Thanks. Before I forget, let me just quickly go to my jack and change Pathfinder to Tracker. So tracks are automatically revealed when entering dungeons and take less time to investigate. Scout limit increased by one. Booyakasha. Nice one. So I think I should try and get like one of each person in for this one. I think I probably will go do this in the hopes that it gets Hildegard or Mad Jack up to the next level at least. And then we aim to get to level 12 and go and do and raid that storehouse uh, next episode. Let me have a quick look at this contract. Yeah, 45 days. Probably just going to sack it, honestly. I don't, I'm not really that fussed about it. Just keep everyone drunk. I don't think we're going to see Octavia, unfortunately, in combat for this episode. But at the very least, at least, I'm glad we just found her more than anything. How far am I walking? Where is it? You come to the cave in question, but find a group of null beasts roaming around the entrance and barring your way. We'll have to clear these beasts out if you want to take a look inside that cave. Oh, so there's going to be a battle before we actually get into the battles. Hmm. Okay. Now, I don't know if this auto-locks us into taking the, uh, the same party in. Oh, God, four reinforcements. How much do you want to drag this out, game? I'm getting a little bit like, ugh, about that, you know? Let me move everyone over here. Um, I'm glad it tells us how many reinforcements there are now, but... It just makes some fights really unnecessarily stodgy, you know? Okay, let's get ready. Can you just kill... Come pretty close. You can come pretty close. Right, well, that's one gun at least. Belt him. Oh yeah, that's fine. Kick you over there. Let's go uh, blind you very quickly. To be fair, if we're very quick... Oh, you can't be blinded. If we're very quick... It makes already dead stone surge. You can't get more dead stone surge unless you amplify it. I guess you could amplify it. Why is... Oh my god, look at the health. I hope the abilities I'm using aren't impacted into the uh, the old dungeon. Oh, this is going to be a bit more of a nightmare than I'd like. Also, she is a little bit surrounded. Oh, here come all the friends. Ugh. Ugh, you heard me. Ugh. Disgusting. Right, there goes another... Can't skewer because I'll just hurt her, which is, you know, the opposite of what I should be doing, really. But at least I can do this. That's a lot of health. A lot of health. Alright, at least I've got her out of the flank. Rainer is taking a lot of damage, though. Great block. Fantastic block. Heal yourself, and everyone else is kind of okay currently. Uh, sure. I mean, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to technically have to. Uh, now would be a great time to have the old, uh... Hang on. Another crit. Very close. Oh, there's so many bloody enemies. Jeez Louise, man. Right, get ready for that. Unfortunately, you can't move. You know what? Block. Just block for now. I'll piss off. Get out of here with that nonsense. You words. Right. Stand here, because I think something's about to go down. Right, you're dead at least. You just don't like to stop, do you, buddy? You just don't like to stop. This is a bit overkill just for the entrance to a dungeon. You know? Ugh, okay, fine. 
Especially if this impacts, like, what we can take in terms of, like, our ability. Oh my god, there's still more of them. Why? Not that I'm... Ugh, anyway, let's just deal with this quickly, please. How's the health? Get healed. Get healed. It'd be pretty annoying if it does impact, like... Our ability charges. Because the amount I'm having to use on this fight alone from the sheer amount of enemies that are coming in is ridiculous. Holy hell. Right, at least you didn't get a crit. And are we going to be injured to go... Are we going to be injured going into the dungeon? Like, is that going to be the case? Who bloody knows? Who bloody knows? Right. Go there and lock that one down, please. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot when it bounces now. My B. That was my B. I wasn't really doing that to blind him. I was more doing it to get the extra damage out, but it didn't work. Unfortunately, it's now gone. As is that one. No, it's not. I take that back fully. Although I'm going to get a crit even though it's got like three health, but it's definitely dead at least. Bloody hell. Right. Go away. That's fine. Fill your boots on that one, mate. Just, just heal yourself. Don't worry about the rest for now. Four is fine. Ooh, hello. Very good. They have not. We have not had a straightforward day for fights. Let me, let me tell you. Not even slightly. God, four, four levels higher. That's uh, that's an automatic win, right? No, no. No, it is not. <laughs> nice. Okay. This better not impact how our characters are going into the dungeon. With the beast disposed of, Trevor gestures towards the cave's entrance. The way now clear, shall we? Let's head inside. How fatigued is everyone? Right. I still kind of want to use that a mix of that group just so I can get Hildegard and Magic up. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to camp for two days. Now everyone should no longer be... Nice, no, it's going to take a day anyway. Nice one. Although looking at the uh, the timer, we are crossing closer to the hour mark, and this is probably going to take about 20 minutes to do it itself. So I think I probably will pick up with this at the start of the next episode. So we do this at the start of the next episode. This seems kind of unique because we have to break our way in through a group just to get to go and do Dark Deeds. So we do this. We finish it off. We go to Waveton. We hand that in. At that point... Hildegard or Mad Jack should have leveled up to level 11. We do one more contract in between to try and get them up to level 12. And then we go and do this storehouse raid. Because it's only a, a short mission. So it shouldn't be too battle heavy. So we should just be able to use all of our abilities in basically one or two fights. That's kind of the aim. I'm happy we've got Octavia in. I hope we see more... Well, we hope we see you in some battles next time. Let me know if you do. If I need to change anything with your character. Because I wasn't sure. Because you didn't really give me a lot to work with. You just gave me a name... And a hair color and an eye color. So general gist I've kind of given it. But if there's any changes you want me to do, just let me know. Otherwise, we will see what happens next episode. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. Show us more of that that you will enjoy. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know the next time we are going out with the missionaries in the Iron Oath or the Scrotums in Battle Brothers. Can't wait till then. Feel free to join the Northern Discord. It is linked in the description below or on the channel itself. Come talk to us, join all of us in the interim. We are a lovely bunch. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.